This is a SWG 100 biogas unit, a stationary unit for biogas plants, landfills, and also other application. Um, this unit can measure, it can have up to 10 sample points, um, can measure H2S, O2, CO2, CH4, and also in different branches. So we have a special um, dilution system here to have, can measure up to 100,000 ppm of H2S. Um, we have a, a heater inside for colder areas, um, also a gas cooler. And now is the main board on this part side here. Then we have here all the sensor sensors for that unit, the O2, H2S, and the infrared for CO2, CH4. And this is the whole filtration system. So we have two profil filters. Then we have the, the gas pump and the condensation pump for the gas cooler. If we will have condensation, we can get the moisture out. Now, what you can see here is an O2, CO2, CH4, H2S value. You can always define this window. You can change the, uh, the things that you want to see. If you have here right now the sample flow. With right and left, you can have even more values. Or you can zoom in if that is important for you. And then you can configure this unit when you go to uh, your your measurement cycle configuration. You can set here different times for your measurement, for your zeroing. You can have also a standby time. It's depending on how often you want to, to measure. Okay. So on this side of this unit, we have the vent uh, where the gas is coming out. So make sure that if this analyzer is installed in the room, that you have like a hose that is going out of the room to get uh, all the gas out. Then we have here a calibration gas inlet. So this unit comes standard with an auto calibration function. So you can have one gas cylinder next to the unit and then you can set the values, the time uh, when you want to calibrate this unit. And then we have the zero inlet. So after the measurement cycle, we have a zeroing cycle. So this, um, depending on your environment, should be also connected to fresh air. And then we have a condensate outlet. Um, so when you have a gas cooler and you have condensation, this is the port where the condensation is coming out of the unit. So the auto calibration, you actually need to manually initiate the sequence or it can calibrate itself every... Yeah, it's user definable. So you will tell the unit, I want calibration every day, every week. Okay. Yes, and if something should have gone wrong with that calibration, the analyzer will give you display that something went wrong with the auto calibration. So somebody has to come and check what actually went wrong. Okay. If there might be a malfunction with one of the sensors, the analyzer will let you know. Okay. So this uh, unit basically has built-in self-diagnostics? Yes. Like filter clogged, solenoid fault, pump fault, yeah. filter, uh, whatever is going to give me... Uh, yeah, you will see an alarm on the display and will show you okay. what the problem is. Is it a code or a text? No, it's a text. real... Full text. Sample gas flow too low. Correct. And now the pump stopped working to protect the unit. So in this corner we have uh, the dilution system. We have a, a pump that gets the fresh air. And we have a pump for the sample gas. Um, we mix this uh, the fresh air plus the sample gas to dilute the, the sample gas. depends on what the customer has and only the H2S sensor will get the diluted gas. Um, from our experience, we can say that for landfills, especially for landfills, it is, it is important to have a dilution system because uh, you never know what is in this gas and to protect the sensor also, um, we would recommend this for mm -hmm. the application. The lifespan of the sensors uh, for the O2, for example, is uh, five years for the H2S sensor is a um, three years plus 
and uh, depends on how what, which application you have and how the customer uses. But if you the customer uses the sensor how he should use it, then three years would be a good time. And then so for the infrared bench, we have a five years plus life lifespan. And how often would you recommend to calibrate for a biogas application? Once a year. Once a year. Yeah. Be enough. Yeah. When the customer need a calibration every day, she could do it. If this is re uh, requested from any regulations, then the customer could do a calibration every day. But we recommend uh, once a year. The MRU SWG100 Biogas and Landfill Analyzer is highly configurable for any application and compliance requirement. Available from Gas Detectors USA.